In the aftermath of the World War, cities that once thrived now lay in silence. The skyline, once a testament to human ambition, now stands as a monument to our downfall. The sign, a beacon of hope, flickers on and off, as if struggling to hold on to the last remnants of civilization. The streets, once alive with the hum of daily life, now echo with the quiet whir of a lone robot. It moves through the debris, a solitary guardian of a world long gone. The shops and cafes, now silent, hold the memories of laughter and conversation that once filled the air. Here, amidst the decay, stands a forgotten hero. The statue, once a symbol of valor and sacrifice, now watches over a world that has moved on. The ivy creeps over its surface, a reminder that even the strongest among us are not immune to the passage of time. In the heart of the destruction, a flicker of life remains. These survivors, clinging to hope, gather around a meager fire. They share stories, memories, and a photographer connection to a past that feels like a distant dream. In their eyes, a determination to endure, to rebuild, and to find a new way forward. In the midst of despair, life finds a way. A single flower, pushing through the cracks of a broken world, stands as a symbol of resilience and renewal. The butterfly, a delicate dancer in the breeze, reminds us that even in the darkest times, beauty and hope can still be found. This is the promise of a new dawn, a chance to start anew. Hello everyone! So, in this video I am come back to Minimax after a while from my previous review of their site, and something interesting to check out on the platform. When I look at the new developments across the whole system, a lot of people think of Minimax as just an AI video generator. And yes, their images into videos model is awesome. Now, they've added some cool features like subject reference. I've tried that out too, using subject reference to create something like this. I have a character's face and use that character in different video scenes. But when it comes to backgrounds, decorations, or items the character is holding, it's not able to use those as references yet. Well, so far that's okay because this feature is labeled as Add Reference Character, which focuses only on characters for now. Back to the main topic I want to talk about, the bigger picture of Minimax right now. After a few months since they launched the Minimax AI video model, and there are some pretty interesting things I see from their roadmap. It's not just an AI video generator anymore. They're also adding ways to create images. And of course, you've got audio generation too. As you can see here, I've just tried something out. And this audio generator is pretty nice. It has daily credits to play around with for testing. And even the pricing is cheaper than 11 Labs. The quality is almost on par with what 11 Labs can do. They also have language models for generating content. I've tried creating one minute short video stories and it handles what I want to do well. It also creates text prompts for each scene automatically within the platform. It's like a pipeline of tools for visual production, content creation, and then audio if you want to create videos with voiceovers. I'm seeing Minimax or Halo AI moving towards a platform style ecosystem rather than just focusing on being an AI video generator I'm really looking forward to their new features coming up. I've heard they've got some updates in the AI video model, plus they offer API access, which I've used quite a bit already. It's good, stable, and performs very well. So let's try out something in this whole ecosystem I've mentioned here by creating, for example, a sci-fi short story. You know, having all this content generated, the text prompts for me, and then building on that using their image creation. I created something like this. The cool thing is that their director model has different camera panning angles and more dynamic styles, so you can experiment with different images generated by their image model. Then you can bring it all together into one single pipeline like this, with buttons for image to video or subject reference if you're generating a character from an image. In my case right now, I've got a landscape view of a science fiction background, if we can experiment with Haloi AI, let's try it out with this as well, including the audio. Their audio performance is pretty solid. I was honestly surprised by their audio model, especially with Speech 2.0 HD and Version 2 Turbo. 
This is really nice because it can handle multiple languages, even in turbo mode. If you've used 11 Labs, you know that their turbo model doesn't perform well for languages other than English, but in Minimax, I've tried it with different languages, and it works well, even in turbo mode. It supports Cantonese, Chinese, Mandarin, and other Asian languages, including Indonesian. It's not just typical European languages like many other AI audio generators or text-to-speech models. That's super convenient for most of us in Asia who need those languages represented. So, let's check that out. For using this platform and starting to create short stories or narrative videos, it's possible to just use Minimax's AI modules to create everything. First, I'm going to start by creating the content. Here I have a template of a text prompt. Basically, I'll ask it to create a science fiction futuristic theme for a one-minute short video. Then, I instruct the AI to create video text prompts following my structure using subject scene and action. This is pretty standard for video text prompts nowadays. So, it creates each subject, scene, and action within the text prompt itself for each scene. You know, there are lots of ways to create videos, but this is the simplest way to create your video scene by scene, like that. Of course, you can use this for documentaries. I'll explain that later in the video. After creating the scenes, I'll also ask it to create the voiceover script for each scene. That way, we'll have the narrative text for each scene to use later on. So, after we've got all this content, we jump to Haloi AI, the video and image creation platform I've been using to create each scene, starting with image generation. Here, I've used the latest image generation model from Minimax. For each scene, I generate four variations so I can pick whichever one I like. Especially for buildings, I've generated several options so I can choose from different styles. So far, I've noticed that their image generations for each batch tend to stick to similar styles, but it still can't do character referencing for image generation or maintain coherent, consistent styles across the images. That's something I'll be looking for in their next update. Aside from that, the other features are very convenient. After the update, you get this big recreate button that's easy to spot, allowing you to reuse the same text prompt to generate different images. For example, I've got some buildings here in the first batch, and I want different color variations for them. So in the second batch, I've got alternate colorations for the banners on top of the building like this. Of course, the next step will involve using the same text prompts from the templates and we'll jump into video creation. Using the image to video feature, we can use this button here. As I mentioned, the UI design is getting more convenient now after the updates. At this stage, jumping into image to video is seamless. Creating each scene is really fast. For each scene I create here, I'm using their new director model, which allows me to apply different camera movements. The cool thing is that within the five second video clip it generates, it's not limited to just one camera movement, you can select multiple ones. For example, I've selected a push-up movement here. And of course, by selecting from the menu on the left, I can see which option suits this image best. Let's say I want to circle around the building to the right and then tilt downward using this one. So the camera will tilt down to the lower part of the city this time, creating two different camera movements. Let's use this tool and include our text prompts. That's the basic simple way of making this right now. For AI video generators on the web like Minimax, it's really beginner friendly. There's no need for in-depth tutorials teaching you how to click each button. I'd say it's all self-explanatory with these buttons. It's all about the concept of workflow, how you want to use it in different ways. That's what makes the difference between each creator using this platform and how they leverage the ecosystem overall from text generation to image and video generation, and lastly, audio generation. The audio generation in Minimax is really fun. I've been genuinely surprised by what they've done here. I just tried it out with some text-to-speech, and from the history here, as you can see, I've already tried a lot. Here's the long one I tested, and it also lets me adjust the pitch with the same voice. The pitch is super easy to tweak from the settings on the left. Speed how fast you want the voice to go, pitch, high or low, and volume. 
And it's not just restricted to using their stock voices, you can use your own voice for the audio. Let's say I've already got my voice recorded here. For example, under the My Voice tab, I select my voice. This is based on voice recordings you can do here, where you can create your own voice clone and upload audio files you've recorded, or you can do a real-time recording. 10 to 60 seconds is good enough. Then name your voice, select your language, and you're all set. Going back to the text-to-speech section, after generating your voice clone, you can select it under My Voice. Let's try that out with this one. This is the demo of the voice clone after generating it. Hello, I'm delighted to assist you with our voice services. Choose a voice that resonates with you, and let's begin our creative audio journey together. The voice clone matches pretty closely with what I recorded. So, I'll try it out in future projects using this text-to-speech feature. The quality is really nice. Besides English, they support Chinese Mandarin, Chinese Cantonese, Japanese, and Indonesian. As I mentioned earlier, some Southeast Asian languages are included too, which many other text-to-speech AI models don't support. That's been a pleasant surprise for me. For Cantonese, we have many different meanings for one word, even slang or swearing, and this AI understands how to pronounce those correctly. That's been a big surprise for me regarding the audio features. Honestly, this time around the audio impressed me more than the video or language models. As for the AI video model in Minimax, I hear they've got some new features coming up, and I'm really looking forward to that. The audio side is unique to Minimax at the moment. I think they should integrate audio with video better. Like, after generating a sentence from text to speech, you could bring it into the video editor or save the files directly into the video project. Adding lip syncing options would make it more convenient for people using both services together as an integrated ecosystem within Haloi AI as a platform. Yeah, so far that's what I think after revisit the site and try with their new AI audio. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.